All right, we're going to get started. We are doing hamstrings, glutes, and legs today. No one likes being like you. We are going to get started with a sumo squat. Nice, wide, wide stance. Good? I just want to make sure you can see me okay. Core nice and tight. Pull that belly button in. Hands on your waist. You're going to let those knees crack out. So we're going to get started with a nice deep sumo squat. Get some glute activation to start. So I want you to be mindful as you straighten those legs, squeeze those glutes up top. Press that chest forward. Pull those shoulder blades back and down. You got it. Find your breath. For five. Squeeze. Four. You got it. Three. Two. One. Amazing. Touch those toes. Get a nice stretch in the back of those legs. Walk yourself forward. Tap those knees down. Right back up. Walk back. Good. Get a nice stretch in the back of those legs. So nice plank. Knees come down. Straighten those legs. Activate those glutes, those hamstrings. Just warming up. <clears throat> Walk forward. Tap it down. Core activated. Nice stretch in the back of those legs, getting some blood circulation here. Tap down, walk it back. Last one, forward. Keep it tight. Amazing, slowly round yourself up. Good, back to your sumo squats, nice and wide. Good, let's go. Proud chest, three shoulder blades back and together. Activate those glutes as you come up. I want you to intentionally get into those glutes, squeeze. Good, for 10, squeeze. Nine, hold on. Eight, you got it. For five, breathing. Four, yes. Three, two, amazing, good. Touch your toes. We're gonna switch this up slightly, so get a nice stretch in the back of those legs. Walk out to a plank, step up with one foot. Landing here, getting a nice stretch through that hip. Breathing. Step back, step forward with the other side. Land. Amazing. Good, step back, walk back. Touch those toes, nice stretch forward. Again, land. Nice stretch through those hips. Those glutes, step back. Other side. You can press yourself into a downward dog pathway in between. Amazing. Step back, walk back. Give me two more here at your own pace. But I want you to take your time, get a nice stretch, landing there, pausing for a moment, and then switch to get a nice stretch on the other side. Amazing. Last one. Good. Forward. Finding your breath. Land. Yes. Other side. Amazing. So option today to be in a barefoot workout. Slowly round yourself up. Good. Allowing us to work on proprioception, grounding down in the ground. Good. We're going to be starting with a side lunge. Side lunge just to get into that glute. So with or without weights, your option. Good. We're going to get deep into a side lunge. Only 10 a side. Good, so grabbing some hand weights, throwing a vest, or no weights at all. Good. You're gonna get a nice wide stance. Hip comes back. We're gonna focus on that glute. So sit right back, foot flat on the ground. Only 10 on this side. Kind of easing into that warm up, priming those glutes a little bit more. You got it for five. Welcome to Tina. Four. Breathing, proud chest. Three. Well done. Two. One. Amazing. Other side. Right away. For ten. Nine. Proud chest. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. For five. You got it. Four. Yes. Three. Welcome, Matina. Two. Good morning. One. Amazing. Put this down. On your backs, please. 
So you don't need anything except your mat. On your back, reaching for those toe, those heels with those fingertips, good? Tuck those ribs in, core tight, hands by your side. Hips come up, you're holding it here, glutes on for three, two, one. Tap down with the butt, right back up. Three, two, one, good. Tap down, right back up. Keep it. Breathing. Good, tap down and up. Three, two, one, good. Tap down, back up. Three, two, one, good. Tap down. Five more here. Two, one. So I really want you to focus on that contraction in that glute. Squeeze hard. Keep those ribs in, making sure you're not dumping in the back. Amazing, tap down. Two more, right back up for three, two, one. Down, right back up. Three, two, one, amazing. Up you get. Side lunge. We're adding two more here. We're gonna do 12 a side. Again, getting nice and deep in that one side, core tight, flat back, right? Bending in that knee, getting into that glute. Side lunge. Let's go for one. Proud chest. Two. Get deep. Three. Yes. Four. Well done, five. Good, bum down like you're sitting on a little stool. Breathing. Well done. Three more, proud chest, core tight. Two, one. Amazing, everyone, other side. Let's go right away for 12. Getting deep, like I almost want it to feel like you're gonna get stuck there, right? Meaning that you're getting so deep in that leg that it feels like you're gonna bottom out, right? Challenge yourself, that's why you don't necessarily need weights for this, right? This range of putting all the weight on this outside leg makes it challenging for five. Flat back, everyone, four, you got it. Three, Woo. two, Oh, one, one, yes, put it down, on your back, getting into your right glute and left glute equally, right, reach for those heels, feet shoulder width apart, squeeze shoulder blades back and down, all the way up, hold it for five, four, three, two, tap down, right back up, four, three, two, tap down, back up, squeeze, core tight, amazing, tap down, Back up, four, three, two, one. Good, tap down, keeping those heels down, everyone. Toes down, amazing, good, and up. Squeeze, I want you to feel right and left side active. Good, tap down and up, you've got seven. Four, three, two, good, tap down and up. Again, three, two, one. You should feel those glutes talking to you. Again, five, four, three, two, good, tap down. And four, four, three, two, one. You've got three more here. Up, four, squeeze, three, two, one. Two more, I know, I feel it too. Come on, uh, hold it, hold it. Good, tap down and up for five, three, four, three, two, amazing, knees to chest. Woo! We're going into a final round. Up you get side lunges. Side lunges. Good, we are doing 15 this time. 15 this time. I'm going to start with the other leg, right? So I did two starting with my right side. Now I'm gonna do the final 15 starting with my left, just to share the love. Good, core engaged when you're ready. Nice wide stance, hip comes down. Step together, right back out. So I want you to make sure that you're stacking the knee on top of the ankle and hit on top of that leg, right? You're bending into that side, getting that nice movement and strength in that glute for 10. Hold on. Nine. Hold on. Eight. Yes. Seven. Keep it tight. Six. Good, for five. Yes. Four. Looking really strong, guys. Three. Proud chest. Ugh. Two. One. Oh my goodness. 
Other side. I know, 15 feels like a lot sometimes. Three, two, step it out. Proud chest. Good, keep it tight. Core tight. Nice. You got it. Breathing. Nice. For 10. Nine. Hold on. Eight. Seven. Yes. Six. Ugh. Keep it tight for five. I know. Four. Three. Nice. Two. One. Oh my goodness. Very good, everyone. Put it down. Last one on our backs. Last one on our backs. Arms by your side. Tuck those ribs. Good, all the way up. Squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. Tap down with the glutes first, back up. Hold it, squeeze. So I want you to make sure, tap down, back up, that you're not feeling this in the lower back. You want a pelvic tilt, activating just those glutes. Good, tap down, back up. Good. Good, tap down. Right, so imagining pelvic tilt pressing the small of your back and then recruiting those glutes to bridge. Good, tap down, back up. We're almost there, everyone. Good, tap down, back up. Breathing, three, two, one. Tap down, back up. Are you making it even? Good, I know my right side always wants to take over. Good, tap down, back up. Try to make it even. Bringing that mind-body connection. Good, tap down, back up. Good, feeling, where is this recruitment taking place? Good, squeeze your lids back into together, tap down, back up. <sighs> Breathing. Good, tap down, back up. Four, three, two, one, tap down. For four, three, two, one, you've got two more here, tap down, back up. Squeeze, feel it. Good, last one. Three, two, one. Good, relax, knees to chest. Good, take a quick, quick sip. I know, that was a long sequence. That was a long sequence. Very good. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to gather yourself, stretch out that lower back, whatever you need. Then we're gonna go into single leg deadlifts. Single leg deadlifts. So, <coughs> if you can, I want you to use some weights. If balance is a challenge, actually we're all gonna do kickstand deadlifts. Let's start with that with some weights if it's in your wheelhouse. If you're feeling like, Catherine, I'm not sure about the hinge, I want you to turn it into a split squat. So option one, single leg kickstand deadlift. Option two, split squat if you're not sure with the hinge, good? What the hinge looks like is this. We did these last week, good? Kickstand here, literally knees are together. This is just here for moral support, balance support. Hinging hips come back like a string is pulling you. Core engaged, drive your hips forward. Good, you're gonna do that with weight. So we're gonna do 15 on one side, 15 on the other, and we're gonna go down in number of reps, up in weight if you can. Good, so we're gonna do one side, then the other, then we're gonna do some back core engagement. So grab some hand weights. We're going to get started in about 10 seconds. <coughs> Good. I'm going to balance on my left foot first. That's my weaker side. So kickstand deadlift. Good. Proud chest. Three, two, one. Hinging. A nice stretch in the back of that leg. Drive up. Squeeze. So keeping that core engaged the entire time, right? Bracing through that belly button. Get a nice stretch in the back of the leg. Drive forward. Good. You got it. Hold on. Yes. For 10. Take your time on the way down. I want nice and controlled. Feeling that tension build. Nine. Feel that tension on the back of that leg and that glute. Squeeze that glute up top. Never leaning back into the back, right? You're just bringing your hips to your weight for five. Hold on. Four. Breathing. Three. Bracing. Two, last one, amazing, other side, other side, 
kicks in. Bend those knees, proud chest. All the way up. Two, press. Take your time, flat back, right? I want a nice, slow and controlled on the way down. Drive up. And again, you don't need weights for this. You can always drop those weights. Controlled, you should not feel this in the lower back ever. Fine. Take your time. Eat. Back foot's just for balance. Take your time. Six. For five. You got it. I know, I'm right here with you. Four. Squeeze. Three. Oh my goodness. Two. One more. Amazing. Planking. I think those last exercises, those side lunges, my glutes tired. I feel it. Good. So, couple options. We can go tabletop. You can do bird dog. Good. You can do floating bird dog, so leg and arm as you're in a tabletop floating position. Or you can do plank, right leg, opposite arm, okay? Which looks like this. So nice stable plank, one leg, reach. Good, back to center, control. I want you to find a pause in the center. Good, we're gonna do six aside, okay? Find what variation supports you. Core engaged, let's go. Lift one leg, opposite arm. If you are in this plank position, I wanna see a nice solid plank, meaning your butt's not up here. Good, so activate pelvic tilt. Core engaged, reach, good. We're only doing six aside, so take your time. I want it to be slow and controlled. For three, take your time. Even if you're in tabletop, pause up top. Activate that core, but really that glute and that backside. One and one. Don't lose your breath. One. Good, bring yourself down, shake out those Wrists, really good everyone. Good, single leg kickstand deadlift. So ready? Let's do it. So I wanna see your full range. Good, we're still going to do kicks, we're still gonna do deadlifts after this round. So I'm gonna switch it up slightly, good. Shoulders square, core tight, hips square as you hinge. Nice stretch in that standing leg, press, those hips to the weights. Nice stretch. So you can always start with this, and then if you need to switch it to a split stance, split squat, you can, right? If you find that doing these are too much, you can always change it, good? It changes how it hits those glutes, but it's still a great exercise. You've got six more here, nice stretch, squeeze, press, for five, nice, good, Bettina, four, squeeze, three, and Steven, two, last one, proud chest, oh my goodness, Whew. other side, let's do it, let's do it, good, hinge, I want you to really focus on that nice stretch in the back of that glute, Press up. Yes. Amazing. For 10. Nine. In the next couple of weeks, we're gonna add some bands into our glute posterior chain repertoire, actually all our movements. If you are part of the membership, you will get your band in the mail very soon, four, three, two, one more, oh my goodness, last one, last one, amazing, Woo! put it down, I did say we were going to go down in reps and up in weights, but we did not do that, we are going to switch the exercise up after this, good, when you are ready, in your tabletop, Either bird dog, floating bird dog, or full plank. 
stabilize through the core. I don't want to see any falling over. I want you to stabilize as you lift one leg, glute activated, reaching the opposite arm, pausing up top. Nice and controlled. The slower, more controlled, the less swivel, the more you're working for it. We're doing six aside. Show me your best ones, everyone. Glute on, reaching. Good. Breathe. Core, reach. Yes. Other side. Hold on. Stay with me. Nice. Center. Breathe. Two aside. Make it good, guys. I want you to feel those back muscles working. That is the point. And that glute. One and one. And one. Amazing. Take a little sip. Everybody underestimates movements like that, but they are vitally important. Vitally important to patterning your body, vitally important to recruiting those muscles well, balance in your physique, in your movement. And if you do them properly, they should be tough, right? That's tough for me. Good, take a quick sip. We're gonna go into single leg deadlift to a reverse lunge. So, I'm gonna do this without weights. Single leg, you can do with weights or without. But I want this to be no kickstand. So if you have the balance to be able to balance yourself with that single leg with some weights, go for it. I'm gonna work on just that proprioception in my foot and getting that nice deep stretch in the back of that leg. So, I want you to create it in two separate movements. Good? So hip square, shoulder square, hinging forward. And if you need to put something like a weight in front of you as a marker point so you don't have to try to touch the floor, it can be a chair, it can be a wall, it can be a book. Good? Hinging forward, right? You want your marker to just be below, good? Coming right up, opening up that hip before you step back. Good? So we're overloading this glute opposite of the leg that's up, okay? So find what works for you. I'm actually gonna use yoga blocks because these will for sure fall. So find what works for you. If you are using weights, you can use weights. I don't want this leg to go so far back. I want this hip closed. I want a nice stretch in that standing leg, in that glute. You should feel it, especially after what we just did. Good, let's go. Hip square, shoulder square. Tennis side, let's go, hinge. Good, square hips all the way up, open it up, lunge. Good, right back. You can tap in between for balance. But I want you, you can't see, but I keep using this wall. So this is the side where my injury is. So I'm really trying not to depend on the wall. Three, we're going for 10. Four, keep that hip square. And with that floating leg, I want you to try to reach that heel back as far as you can. Whew. Right, because that'll recruit that glute that hamstring, slight bend in that standing leg, squeeze, nice even proud chest, making sure that knee's not collapsing in, in that reverse lunge. Ho, 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 four. Oh my goodness. Up. I know, I'm right here with you. Three, hip square. <laughs> Two, I got you. Two, one. One. Ugh. Holy moly, shake it out. Woo! You should feel that with or without weights, right? Good, so slight bend in that standing leg, hip square, other side, hinge, nice stretch through the back of that leg, reaching that heel up, squeeze up top, reverse. Let's do it again, all the way, proud chest. Come up, reverse, pelvic tilt, Ribs in, nice stretch. Whew. Hold on, you got it. Yes. Woo. Do not let that knee collapse in as you step back for five. Really good, everyone. Four. Yes, Bettina, nice. Proud chest, three. Squeeze up top, every single one, right? Three. Coming up, three, two, nice stretch. Press those hips forward, glute on. 
Don't underestimate those little squeezes. They are important. Ah, one more. Yes. Oh my goodness. Good job. Take a quick, quick sip if you need. We're gonna go into a no weight sumo squat. So similar to where we started with, okay? Don't get mad. We're gonna go down, we're gonna go nice and deep. If we can get to 90, we're gonna pause there, come up on our toes, back down, and then rise up. It's gonna look like this. Here, toes, heels, back down, squeeze. Low, 90, toes, heels, up, squeeze. Making sure you're not too wide. Like these knees, see how I'm tracking? Almost over. Yeah, take your time. So I want the up and down, core tight, up, down, then up. Nice, Steven, yes. Breathing. Good, up, down, yes. You should feel the shakes, I've got them too, for five. Woo! Four, squeeze those glutes up top. Three, I know, I'm right here with you. Two, oh my God, one, one, one. Holy moly, very good, very good. Single leg deadlift again, 10 and 10, I know. I feel like we're not getting a break today, so if you need to take a little bit of a break, you can take a one breath break, you can take a sip, but if you are ready, we're gonna go right into it. Good? Finding whatever you need to help you balance, good? Bend that standing leg, hip square, so I don't wanna see you beautiful dancers opening up that hip, good? Hip square, let's go, hinge. Nice stretch, come all the way up before your reverse. Good, hinge, breathe, all the way up. Good, reverse. Squeeze up top, guys. Make every single one count. Remembering to reach that heel back, back, back. Reach it back, elongate, that stretches that hamstring. It all works together. Hold on. Come all the way up, squeeze. Pull it in through the belly. Four, all the way up, press. Three, crowd chest, core tight, all the way. Two, yes, last one, hinge. Amazing, Woo! other side, ready? Bend that leg. Take your time, hinge. What I love about posterior chain day is that it is slow and controlled, but the barefoot proprioception is really a great one. And I promise you, this is a phenomenal bang for your buck time-wise. It may not be fast, like one of our hits, our cardio sessions, but I promise you, if you do this a couple times a week, the fat burning potential of building, recruiting, stabilizing. It is a winning combo, I promise you. You've got four more here, stay with me, four. Keep it tight, squeeze. Three. Total foot all the way down. Two, stretch that heel back. Oh my goodness, two. One and one, let's go, one. One. Woo, mama. Shake it out. Oh my goodness. Don't go far. We're gonna do our sumos. Option to add a little bit of weight here. If you're feeling so inspired. Wide, wide stance, good. Pull the shoulder blades back and together. Pull that belly button to your spine. Good. Land. Good. Up on those toes. Heels. Back up. Yes, Steven. Nice. Right up. Take your time. Good. So land. Core tight. Toes. Heels. Back up. Good. Let's do it. 
find your breath. We are doing 12. Woo! Balance, balance for seven. Take your time, six. Oh my goodness, for five. Yes, four. Woo! Three, pull it in. Yes, two. Last one, last one, last one. One. Oh my goodness. Put it down. Very good, everyone. Take a quick, quick sip. We are almost there. Very good, everyone. Let's get down to our sides, please. We're gonna go into our side plank, our glute side plank, and then we're gonna do some work floor work for our glutes, okay? So we're gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other, 10 on one side, 10 on the other, those side planks, good? So remembering, knees 90, good? Shoulder and knees in line, so my hip is back here. When you come up, I want that hip to come forward and up. Good? So we are going to do 10 on this side. Good? Option to float that leg up or not. Ready? Let's go for 10. Nine. Eight. So what you're focusing on is this lower glute, pressing the ground away. For five. Breathing. Four. Three. Really good. Two. I see you guys. One. Amazing, other side, flip over right away. We're gonna do it right away. Yes, we are adding a bonus on the other side when we do our second round. Let's go for 10, nine. Take your time, right? Eight, down controlled, seven, six. Getting up a little higher for five, neck neutral, four, three, two, one. Amazing, other side. Other side, ready? Again, let's go for 10. Press it away, nine. You got it, eight, good Steven. Take your time, seven. Focus on this lower hip, six, five. It should kill, four. Like challenge pain, three, two, one. We're gonna drop down just for a second, don't go far, good. So we're going to hold ourselves up, keeping those heels together. We're gonna go here, good? Clam, slow movement. Like there should no, be no rolling of the hip. It's opening up, squeezing that glute for five, four, keep those heels together, good. Three, it should be shaking. Two, one, good, woo, mama. Oh my goodness, this side is gonna be challenging, I know. Let's do it together, ready? First for our 10 hips up. Three, two, one, let's go for 10. Pressing it forward, nine, eight, oh my goodness, seven. It burns already, six, five, oh my God. Four, three, stay with me. Two, all the way up, Bettina. One, good, relax for a moment, heels together. We're gonna hold it up, static hold. I want this lower hip off the ground as high as you can get it. Keeping it up here, clam for 10, nine, just this glute, eight, seven, six, hold on, five, four, hold it up, three, two, one. Woo, mama. Very, very good. On all fours. All fours, tabletop, tabletop. Good, let's do a couple cat cows. Deep breath in, tuck that belly under round. Breathing out, opening up the chest. Good, deep breath in, round. Good, breathing out, opening up the chest. Amazing, dropping your left elbow. So you're coming down onto your forearm, left forearm. Knees together, keeping yourself propped up with that right leg. You're gonna lift this right leg. Good, knee to shoulder, extend. I wanna see as straight a leg as possible, pressing that heel 
behind you. Good, even if it's just here, I don't care. What I don't want is for you to just arch the back, right? So no movement in that upper body. Extending, good. Knee comes towards shoulder, press right back. For 10, squeeze. As you extend, squeeze, nine, eight, good. Seven, six, for five, keep that knee high. Four, really good. Three, two, one, keep it bent up in the air. Extend, contract, hamstring, nine. I know it's not a strong hamstring exercise, but rec recruiting, keeping that knee high for five, four, three, it's not tight, tie bow, slow it down, two, one, keep that leg out if you can. We're gonna go down halfway and up for 10. Nine, eight, I know, seven, I'm with you, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, knees together. Fire hydrant without rolling that body up and down. I know, it's called the fire hydrant because this is the movement dogs do to pee on a fire hydrant, I know. Just stay with me, try to focus on that glute for five. Trying to bring the shin parallel, four, three, parallel to the ground I meant, two, one. Oh my God. We're gonna go to the other side. Woo! Shake it out if you need to. Ah, right elbow down. Oh my goodness, this is going to challenge you because that left glute always stabilizes. Left leg down, up. I know, good. Kick it back. Left knee to left shoulder. Three, breathing. Four, keep that body still. Five, we're doing 15 on this side. Extend and press, like activate that glute. Seven, hold on. Six, yes, five, four, Three, two, one. Keep that leg up. Hamstring curl for 10, nine, I know. Eight, breathe, seven, six, five. Bend and extend, four. Oh my goodness, three, two, one. I know, keep it up. Halfway up and down, 10. Okay, I need to break. Nine, eight, leg straight, seven, Six, five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Knees together. Holy moly. Let's go fire hydrant for 10. Nine, stay with me. Eight, seven, core tight. Six, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. O, M, G. Take a quick, quick sip. Let's just give our glutes a little bit of a break. We're gonna go into a final spicy ending. You can rock those hips side to side. Amazing. Very good. Going into our second round of this glute. This spicy glute medley. Bring yourself down. All fours. Tabletop, right, sorry, left elbow down, right leg up. Good, flex that foot. Right knee to right shoulder, kick it back for 10. We need a little faster, eight, seven. I still want you to get that contraction for five. Good, four, three, don't move that torso. Two, one, good, kick it out for 10. Hamstring curl, nine, trying to get that heel to meet your backside, eight. Breathe, seven, six, you got it, for five, four, three, two, one, keep it up, only five, halfway down and up for five, four, come on, three, two, one, <laughs> bend those knees, fire hydrant for 10, nine, don't swing, make that glute work for it, seven, six, Five, yes, four, three, 
two, one. Woo, mama. Other side, let's do it. Ready, curl that toe under, those toes under. Right forearm down, left leg up. Let's go, left knee to left shoulder. Not as many as our first set. No movement in the torso for five. Hold on, four, three, oh my God, two, one, leg up, curl for 10, nine, eight, keep that knee up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep that leg out for five. Oh my God, I can't. Ugh. Let's go, five, four, Three, two, one. Yes, knees together. Do not contort that body. Keep that core engaged. You got it. Stay with me for five, four, down controlled. Three, two, one. Very good, everyone. Bringing yourself to your back side. Oh my goodness. Feet shoulder width apart. Good, you're gonna rock from side to side. So you should feel this right along that band of that glute, that piriformis that we were just focusing on. Really good, everyone. Very, very good. Good, bending one leg, keeping that knee bent, bringing the ankle across the knee. Right, so you're gonna get a nice stretch through here. You can bring your heel closer to your backside if you need to get there deeper. Oh, just be gentle. Right from here, you're gonna rock side to side just slightly. You should feel the angle of that glute stretch change a little. Really, really good. So you're gonna take this foot that's up in the air close to you. I want you to drive it down to the ground. Bring yourself into your pretzel formation. Pulling your knee into your chest gently. Feel it in those glutes. Very good, everyone. Amazing, other side. So same thing, bringing that knee across. Sorry, their ankle across your knee. Good, find a nice position. Pause there first. Good, and then you're gonna rock side to side. So oftentimes people think that this little last sequence is just a nothing sequence. However, it is actually really important for men, with, especially if they're runners, to keep those glutes strong. Women too. But women seem to know how to recruit their glutes for their movements. So don't underestimate these little movements. Good. Bring that foot to the ground, pretzel position, squeezing it to your chest. So when you bring it into your chest, you're now stretching that glute a little bit more. You should get a nice stretch. Amazing. Legs straight for me, please. Good, reach those arms above your head. Deep breath in, breathing out, folding forward. Get a nice stretch in the back of those legs, reaching as far as you can, using this as an opportunity to stretch those shoulders, that back, those lats, as well as those hamstrings. Good, deep breath in, arms all the way up. Breathing out, folding forward. Amazing, making your way up. Good, crossing one leg over the other, rotating over and around, looking over that back shoulder. Amazing, other side for me, please. Get a nice twist, feel good in the back. Nice tw twist through those hips. Very good. When you are ready, standing up for me, please. We're gonna stretch our quads before we give ourselves a nice body stretch. So grabbing onto those laces, if you're barefoot, the top of your foot, bring those knees together, press that pelvis forward, get a nice stretch through those quads. Standing tall. Amazing, other side. Other side. Good, nice wide, wide stance. Bending one leg into that lunge position, getting a nice stretch inside in their thigh. 
Amazing, and then shimmy yourself to the other side. Amazing, landing in the middle, so head comes down, straighten those legs as best you can. And then from here, if you can, you can heel, your, heel toe your way so that feet are touching. And then hinge forward again, bending those knees as much as you need to, right? Landing here, nice stretch in the, behind those legs, stretch in the back. And when you're ready, slowly stacking yourself all the way up. Very good, everyone. Fantastic work today. Good job.